you know, all veterans in this league, especially after a playoff series against them, have seen Steph go off like that late. Is, is he a guy you make the slightest mistake and it, it sort of sets something on fire? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's just, he knows how to get to his spots. He knows how to get his shots and uh, he's going to keep shooting. I thought, you know, Dylan did a pretty good job on him all night. The crazy part is he probably had more better looks in the first half, um, but he was able to shake free there. And, you know, those, those shots in the fourth were just huge coming down the stretch, um, especially when you're coming up short on the other end. So it's, it's this league, you know, it's just uh, playing against the best every night. And, um, you know, definitely one of the best in the league there and then show why. You mentioned when you're coming up short on the other end, it, is that the next step this team has to make of being able to score? Consistently, not go through the dry spells. Absolutely, it's, it's tough enough, you know, to guard as it is. Um, you know, we fought, we did a lot of good things. Um, Execution-wise, wasn't the greatest, but um, um, just didn't make enough shots. Obviously, you know, um, 27% from three, and probably worse at the rim, um, including myself. So uh, definitely got to be better on that end. Find ways to score, find ways to be better. Uh, you know, we're still learning each other, figuring out, you know, where the shots are going to come from. But for the most part, it's come down to, you know, an individual game and making plays. And uh, tonight, didn't do a good enough job. I know you just touched on the offense there momentarily, but how did you just feel about your overall production offensively and kind of the looks that you were getting? Oh, shit. Shit. So, uh, it was bad. And, um, you know, you give the other team credit or championship contending team. They play good defense. Um, but, you know, you got to be able to adjust, you got to have counters. Um, they obviously were pressing up on me, sending me to the rim. I didn't didn't adjust, didn't shoot the floater like I should have, um, and didn't get to the line. So uh, you know, you find yourself searching there a little bit. Um, definitely, they were they were flying at me on the three, and um, just wasn't good enough offensively for me tonight. How much did Jay Sean help you guys get back into the Oh, he was incredible. He played a hell of a game with his fight and his tenacity inside there, getting 50-50 balls, making plays at the rim, steals, blocks, um, coming down, scoring, putting pressure on the rim. Um, he was huge for us tonight, so that was one of the bright spots for us. That late fourth quarter timeout, you may was talking to starting five for basically that whole two, three minute timeout. Is that rare at all for coaches? And what is his kind of instruction style like, and what do you enjoy about it? No, it's pretty direct. I wouldn't say it's rare. I mean, it's pretty direct. It's key moments of the game. Um, communication got to be at a high level at that point. And, um, you know, we're just talking over things that we could do better defensively, executing our coverages. and. Uh, you know, so far it's, it's been pretty clear communication, and, and that's what we need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.